Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. I am so excited to be here with you for another nature nugget. This week's animal is so exciting, and I can't wait to share some really fun facts with you. So let's jump right in and learn about one, another one of God's amazing creatures. So let's go over the clues. Are you ready? Clue number one was their shell is like a shield. And clue number two is they're known as the ocean's lawnmower. Hmm. Did you guys think about it this week? Well, if you guessed that this week's nature nugget animal is a sea turtle. That's right. We're going to learn all about sea turtles. And they have some pretty amazing things that they can do. Did you know that there are seven different types of species of sea turtles? Most of sea turtles' body is protected by their shell. Leatherback turtles have a different type of covering, but it still gives them protection. Unlike freshwater turtles, sea turtles cannot pull their head and feet into their shell. Sea turtles have a streamlined shape that helps them glide gracefully through the water. They come in a variety of colors and markings of yellow, brown, green, and black, depending on the species. Sea turtles are mostly omnivores, which means they eat both animals and plants. They eat fish, squid, crabs, jellyfish, seaweed, seagrass, snails, algae, and mollusks. Green sea turtles are omnivores when they are young and herbivores as adults. Sea turtles are found in all warm and temperate waters throughout the world, and they migrate hundreds of miles between nesting and feeding grounds. Like other turtles, sea turtles lay eggs. Females come ashore on a sandy beach to nest a few weeks after mating at sea. The adult female returns to the nesting site from which she hatched. The female will go ashore, usually at night. Though graceful in the water, adult sea turtles are so awkward and slow on land. Once ashore, she digs out a nest in the sand with her back flippers, bearing the clutch of eggs. She then returns to the ocean. The eggs are left buried in the sand. Artificial lights from condominiums, houses, and hotels discourage females from nesting. If a female fa fails to nest after several attempts to crawl up the beach, she will resort to a nesting spot that is less than optimal, or she may lay her eggs in the ocean. In either case, the survival outlook for hatchlings under these circumstances is very slim. One interesting fact about sea turtle hatchlings is their gender is determined by the temperature of their nest. Temperatures below 85 degrees Fahrenheit produce male turtles, and temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit will develop female turtles. A nest that has a temperature right in the middle will have a mix of female and male hatchlings. The hatchlings begin to pip or break out of their eggs using a small temporary tooth called a caruncle, located on their snout. Hatchlings will remain in the nest for a number of days after emerging from the egg. During this time, they will absorb their yolk, which is attached to their abdomen. This yolk will provide them a much-needed nutrients for their first few days while they make their way from the nest to offshore waters. When the hatchlings are ready to leave the nest, they emerge at night and move toward the ocean. This journey to the ocean is very difficult and dangerous. There are so many obstacles like driftwood and rocks that block the tiny reptile's path. There are many predators such as birds and raccoons which are waiting to get the little turtles as they head to the ocean. The tiny turtles use light from the ocean's horizon, the white caps of the waters, and the slope of the beach to guide them towards the sea. This is why light coming from buildings and city lights can interfere with the hatchling's journey. Little turtles can get turned around and head in the wrong direction towards the artificial light. When this happens, it's called disorientation. Many hatchlings die each year due to disorientation. Hatchlings moving in the wrong direction can be eaten by a predator or hit by a car, or 
they may get lost and simply not make it to the water. If the hatchlings successfully make it to the ocean, they will begin to the swimming frenzy. They may swim frantically for several days in order to get themselves away from the dangerous nearshore waters where pred predation is high. Scientists believe that the hatchlings imprint on the beach as they walk out into the water. This refers to their ability to remember which specific beach they hatch from and return to it as an adult sea turtle. Not much is known about how the little turtles live or where they go once they enter the sea. For this reason, this period is to be called the lost years. Recently, scientists have been able to put tracking devices on the hatchlings and have discovered that hatchlings head out to sea to avoid fish and sharks and other predators. Once off the continental shelf, many eventually end up in the current called the North Atlantic Gyre. Several years later, when they are about the size of a dinner plate, the turtles will return to living near the shore. Sea turtles are an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are one of a very few animals to eat the seagrass. Seagrass beds are important because they provide an area for breeding and growth for many species of fish, shellfish, and crustacean. Sea turtles are constantly trimming the seagrass and this stimulates the seagrass to grow. And that is why sea turtles are known as the ocean's lawnmower. Sea turtles also provide economic benefits to many locations in the form of tourism. People love to view and see sea turtles in the wild. Well, boys and girls, I don't know about you, but I had so much fun learning about sea turtles. And I hope you guys learned a lot about these amazing creatures that God created. And remember, like the beautiful book Steps to Christ says, when we look around at nature, we can learn so much more about Jesus. When we look at the green fields, the ocean, even the sea turtles, or flowers, or passing clouds, all of it speaks to our heart and invites us to become acquainted with Jesus who made them all, including the adorable sea turtle. All right, boys and girls, here are your clues for next week's nature nugget animal. Clue number one, they are related to llamas. And clue number two, they are vegetarian. All right, best of luck, boys and girls, and I hope you figure out what this coming week's Nature Nugget animal is. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sabbath for another Nature Nugget. Bye!